The product rule is used to differentiate functions that are actually the product of two simpler functions. So we say if y equals u times v, and we define the two parts that are multiplied by each other as u and v, so for example, let's say if y equals, let's say 2x squared times, maybe some stuff in brackets all raised to a power, then we've basically got this part, which is a function of x in its own right, and this part, also a function of x. And we know how to differentiate both of them, but they're being multiplied together, and that makes it quite a complicated function. So this is how we deal with it. We define the parts, u and v. Then we say dy dx equals v times, the times there is signified by a dot, v times du dx plus u times dv dx. So clearly we're going to need to, find, to define what u is, what v is, what du dx is, what dv dx is, and then sub them into this formula. Now the other way that people like to write it, using the y dash notation, you can say y dash equals v u dash plus u v dash. Now, if you're adding two things together, technically it wouldn't really matter which order you add them in. Can I recommend that you always add them with the v times the u dash first? Because when we learn the quotient rule, you'll see that there's some similarities with the product rule. And it will help you to remember it, to know that the thing that comes first in the first term needs to be v. I remember that by saying v is very important, so you should put it first. And that helps me to get the formula right. So let's have a look at how to do this. So I've rewritten my example at the top of the page. If y equals 2x squared multiplied by x plus 1 to the power of 5, find dy dx. Now we'll use the dy dx notation this time in this example. Now the first thing we need to do is define u and v. So let u be the first part and let v be the second part. Now we need to differentiate both of those. We need du dx, so differentiate u with respect to x. And I like to do that beside the u. So I have u and its differentiation and v in its differentiation. Some people like to, like put, to put all four things one after the other. But I feel like these two go together and those two go together. So to me that makes sense. So I need to differentiate this and I'll get 4x. Now if I find dv dx, that means differentiate v with respect to x. I bring the 5 down the front, I carefully check that I need to multi uh, multiply and also bring out the front the differentiation of anything in the brackets. Now this time that's 1. So the 5 comes out the front, the 1 comes out the front, 5 ones are still 5. Then I rewrite what I was given and reduce the power by 1. So I've just used the chain rule there but I've done the tricky part in my head because there's a lot more going on. Now I need to sub these bits in here. Now you'll notice that v will always multiply by the thing up here and this one multiplies by this one, so I've got v times this. Now, rather than writing the v down first and then putting the 4x after that, if I'm multiplying 4x and this x plus, plus 1 to the power of 5, I'm going to write my 4x first because I just think it looks tidier that way. And then I'm going to think about u, which needs to be multiplied by this. I could do a bit of this work in my head too. If I've got 2x squared times 5 lots of all this, then really I've got 10x squared, multiplying these two, 10x squared out the front of those brackets. So doing a little bit of that work in my head just sort of tidies things up. Now, here's where it gets tricky. At this point, we need to factorise it. So clearly these two terms are going to have some things in common. For a start, they've got the brackety part there. There's, this is to the power of 5 and this is to the power of 4. But they've also got x's out the front and multiples of 2. So to factorise these two terms, treating them as two terms, I can bring out the front 2x, because 4x and 10x squared both share 2x as a common factor. I can also bring out the front x plus 1 to the power of 4. Okay. Now I need to draw brackets, and if it helps you to draw big brackets here and think about what goes inside, you need to think this times something needs to give me this whole first term. Now, 2x times 2 will give me the 4x, so I know I need a 2, and I need another x plus 1, don't I, to get x plus 1 to the power of 5, because out the front, we only have it to the power of 4. So I need two lots of x plus 1, and this whole term multiplied by something needs to give me this whole term. 
I've got the right number of x plus 1s, x plus 1 to the power of 4 to the power of 4, but here 2x times something needs to give me this 10x squared, so clearly I need a 5x there, so that's plus 5x. So this part here where you need to factorise is probably the hardest step in the product rule. So it pays to just double check it. Mentally expand your big brackets out again just to double check that you get the same thing as what's in this line. Now we can tidy up. We've got the, this part we can just rewrite. But this part, I'm thinking this is 2x plus 2, but the 2x plus 2 plus 5x will give me 7x plus 2. And we're finished. Now if you'd like to use the alternate notation of the u dash and the v and the u and the v dash and u dash, you could set it out exactly the same as this, but instead of calling these du dx and du dx, you differentiate u and just call it u dash. And you differentiate v, so you call that v dash. And then when you're writing your formula, of course, you'll have v times u dash and u times v dash. And then from there, the working on is exactly the same. And of course, instead of calling it du y dx, you'd probably call it y dash. So if they've asked you in the question for y dash, then it makes sense to set it out using this notation. If they've asked for dy dx, then set it out using du dx and dv dx. But it's handy to know it both ways, just so that if you see a question asked a different way, you'll still be familiar.